Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, I hope you are fine and are ready to take this journey with me in which we are going to explore the world of industrial automation. With the hope that this course will help you understand various concepts and practices related to industrial automation, let me introduce what we are going to go through in the whole course in these initial videos. For all my students, the complete course contents, textbooks and details of learning objectives are available on Google Drive folder whose link is given below. All resources are absolutely free of cost and are open to everyone around the globe. So what comes to your mind when you hear the words industrial and automation? Of course, industrial would mean something related to industry. And if we talk about automation, then it is the kind of automation that is implemented and used in industrial setups. If we specifically talk about the definition of automation, then let me clear this thing out right at the beginning that automation encompasses a vast range of practices and ideas. It is not only about using automatic machines or robots or something like that to get the things done. There is far more than that to automation. Primarily, automation means use of machines to automatically perform a task that was initially being done manually. However, proper strategies, routes, equipment, methods, controller, and many other aspects are as important as the machines to efficiently implement automation. This course will aim to cover or touch every aspect of industrial automation so that no niche is left unattended. Therefore, the whole course is divided into three major sections, out of which the first section will be related to the discussion on concepts of industrial automation and manufacturing systems that are used in modern day industries. We will discuss the need for industrial automation, various production systems, automation strategies, and how these strategies influence manufacturing operations and economics, and what are the manufacturing systems that originate from the induction of automation technologies into the modern day industry. The second section will cover the most important part of industrial automation paradigm. That is the brain which is used to implement the whole automation in an industry. We will see that what kind of control techniques are used and how they are implemented, especially using programmable logic controllers or for short PLCs. We will learn basics of PLCs, how to program and run them. We will see that there are a vast number of manufacturers of PLCs, but at the core PLCs produced by all these manufacturers are the same. So the course will aim to enable you guys to work on any kind and any brand of PLC. Lastly, the third section will be related to concepts and practices used for communication of data, signals and all sort of things in an industrial setup. We will talk about machine to machine communication, machine to human or vice versa communication, and human to human communication techniques and methods used in industries. We will focus our discussion to establish standards of communication that are being used all around the globe. Moreover, discussion on quality control will also be included in this section. So all in all, we will cover these three broad areas of industrial automation in this course. Firstly, the need for industrial automation, then programmable logical controllers, and lastly, standard electronic and on paper communication techniques used in industries. However, before jumping into answering these questions or discussing these areas, let me take you through the history of industrial automation. This will establish the journey a modern day industry has gone through to arrive at the state in which it currently is. Humans are living in societies for a long, long time. And one aspect of living in a society is that you can benefit from the skills, knowledge and expertise of someone else. Same is true for others as well. That is, they can benefit from your expertise and knowledge. Therefore, as societies began to develop and grow, need for things used for everyday cores rose quickly. Just suppose that in those earlier times, your neighbor knew how to bake a very good bread and you wanted that bread too. Well, that's true even today as well for some of us. Anyhow, 
Definitely people living nearby will ask your neighbors to bake bread for them at a price. And if your neighbor is progressive and want to thrive in the society, he will immediately agree to that. Same would be the case with each and every commodity that can be used in everyday life. So like this people started to make things so that they can sell them for some other thing made by someone else. This is from where the word manufacture came from. Basically it is driven from Latin words manus that means hand and factus that means to make. Combination of these two words would then mean to make something by hand. This was true at the time because there were no machines and people were making things literally by hand and few hand tools only. Cutting things short, the true industry from which our modern day industry has been derived was established in the 18th century by Britons. They effectively used the steam engine to change the manufacturing from hand made to machine made for the first time. In history, this era is known as the era of first industrial revolution. At that time, the industrial products were mostly centered around naturally occurring things, for example, iron, coal, and textile. The Britons tried to contain the technology to them, but things and ideas like these cannot be confined to any region. Therefore, soon industries began to form in other parts of Europe as well. Furthermore, Soviet Union joined the race in the late 19th and early 20th century that forced Britons to expand industries to other neighboring parts that is China and India. The second industrial revolution was the era when industries became capable of processing many other natural and synthetic resources like light metals, alloys, plastics, gas, oil, electricity, etc. Some of the major products of this era were steel, chemical, telegraph, and telephone. From here, the technological revolution picked up the pace, and humans quickly developed more sophisticated machinery, which forced the invention of programmable electronic controllers. However, the third industrial revolution is attributed to the era when the nuclear energy was exploited in around mid-20th century. The sophisticated electronics allowed the exploitation of nuclear energy and the offshoots of this technology allowed the development of better communication devices, robots and computers. Some experts won't agree to this but majority do that right now we are going through the fourth industrial revolution thanks to the internet and the most sophisticated communication technologies. The computers have advanced so much that now they are capable of processing huge amounts of information in no time. And communication technologies have allowed machines to transfer this information from any part of the world to the other. Therefore, the fourth industrial revolution is all about information generation, processing, and decision making. And at the core, this is what true automation is all about. That is, a system capable of generating required information process it and takes decision based on it all by itself. This is where we are heading right now. So dear learners, I've quickly covered that how industries came into being and in what direction they are headed right now. In the next video, I'll start discussion on various terminologies and concepts related to modern day production industries and will try to link it up with automation and its needs. Take care and goodbye.